uh, you could, there was that uh, random cam portal uh, that just got closed down after being open for a long time. What was it called? Like, was it Omegle or something like that? Omegle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, um, that was not designed for the bad uses that it had, right? So even though I'm always tempted to be like, yeah, people, it's great that people can adapt everything to their own uses. Um, uh, you know, the sort of horrific uh, possibilities and images of that platform were not what the people who designed it had in mind, right? Um, but we can think about technologically more more generally and not just in meaning as like code for like digital technology or online stuff. Um, the uh, theorist, media theorist, Paul Virilio, um, uh, has this concept of the accident. And for him, every technology that has this new possibility and it carries with it this, this accident that doesn't exist without it, right? So like, uh, you know, the car has car crashes come with the car, right? Mm -hmm. Like you don't design the car bec to make car crashes happen, but all technologies have those accidents. And for Virilia, those accidents are specifically, you know, it's been a long time, but I think it specifically has to do with something that couldn't happen without that technology. Um, and that the accidents aren't using the tool, right? So like a gun that kills people isn't an accident. That's what guns are for. Um, a car that kills people is an accident. That's not what cars are for, right? Ostensibly. But there's all kinds of other accidents that are less sort of visceral and violent. Like you could say like the total collapse of our environment is a result of interlocking accidents of different technologies that were not designed to produce uh, global warming, right? Nevertheless, that, that's where we are. Um, but that's not about people using technology their own ways. That's about people using technology exactly as intended, but there are consequences to the usage of it. And I think disentangling things like intent from, from uh, output maybe doesn't... M it definitely matters to people like legislators, but I don't think it should matter um, when we're thinking about these things and trying to con how we should think about and talk about them. Um, I'm going to talk about games for a second, but what you want, I think, as a game designer, and, and I, what I assume students who are game designers want, is not for people to do exactly what they imagined someone would do with your game. What's really... Uh, uh, rewarding is to see people do things that you didn't intend them to do. Um, that is to discover new things. Uh, and because games have this kind of emergent property that is greater than the sum of their parts, people will do weird things that you didn't expect. It can be frustrating if you see people missing out on parts of your game because they just do this other thing or whatever. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's what makes games, I think, exciting to make. I think this is true about new technologies in general. You want them to do things that are unexpected, I think, as a, as a designer. Um, you just hope that those unexpected th things are pleasurable or edifying or wonderful as opposed to horrible or disappointing or even just frustrating, right? Which is maybe more often the case, that things, things tend not to work at all as opposed to producing uh, exciting or horrific uh, results.